Hi, my name is Taylor McCurdy and as you know I'm an instructor at Eco Training and today what we're going to be doing now that we've had a break from the rain is taking a closer look as to what insects occur on all those plants that we've showed you on our Flora Fridays. So here we've got two jumping spiders which is part of the Solticidae family. I'm just going to move my hand slightly just so that that other one comes back and these are my favorite spiders by far. Now most people of course have arachnophobia and are absolutely terrified of them but typically when they have a look at a jumping spider which have beautiful colors like this, this is such an interesting interaction I don't know what's going on here but normally when you have jumping spiders people tend to fall in love with them but I can't say that I've ever seen this other one and this other one over here actually looks like it's just shed and then I don't know if you can see up tucked underneath the top leaf is an exoskeleton of the lighter color jumping spider. The specialities of jumping spiders and the males is that they normally perform a very intricate dance to try and impress the females whereas other male spiders might bring a gift of sorts normally some food to try and distract the female as he deposits the little spermatophore by using his pedipulps and putting it onto the cloaca of the female. But this is fascinating. Uh, these spiders are, are very different in the sense that they don't use a web to catch their prey. They are myglomorph spiders, so they are actively hunting and they will pounce onto their prey and overpower power them with their very powerful legs. Even though they are great jumpers and can jump sometimes up to 50 times the length of their body, they need a bit of a safety rope in case they misjudge the next platform. But this is awesome to see. That's so fascinating. And sometimes what they will do is that they'll leap towards your camera or onto your hand. They're very playful spiders and curious spiders. They're not very aggressive. And if one were to bite me, I wouldn't have to rush off to the doctor. Hope you enjoyed learning a little bit more about the creepies and crawlies that we see out here in the bush but i'd like to know which ones you'd like to see whether it's a spider or an insect comment below and let us know thank you for watching our videos if you'd like to see more remember to subscribe and if you really love them share them with your family and friends